In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a simple Family Guy jigsaw puzzle in Adobe Flash. It's basically a drag and drop game where we're going to pick up pictures of a Family Guy portrait and we're going to drag them and drop them into place inside the jigsaw. Okay, you'll notice that these jigsaw pieces they do snap into place when we get them close to their required position. Okay, so this is a fairly simple jigsaw but it's rather tricky to make in Flash so let's head over to Flash now and get started on this. We will begin today by making an Action Script 3 file and we're going to go straight to our Properties panel on the right hand side and we're going to resize our stage to 650 pixels wide and 525 pixels in height. We'll go to our Magnification box and just choose Fit in Window so we get a clear view of our page here. Now we need to bring in a picture of the Family Guy characters so I'll just go to the File menu and Import to Stage and you'll see we've got a picture of the Family Guy characters here that we can import and that should appear right in the center of your stage. Do not move it from that position because we do need a little border around the outside like I've already got. Okay. Once this uh, picture is in position, make sure you click on it with your black arrow and then right click on it. We're going to go down to the option that says Break Apart and that's going to allow us chop, to chop this picture up and make some jigsaw pieces out of it. Okay, so once we've broken it apart might quickly give this layer 1 a name so I'll call it pieces because on this layer it's going to be the pieces of our jigsaw puzzle we're going to be using the lasso tool to chop up our pieces of the puzzle today so select the lasso tool from your toolbox and we're going to start in the top left hand corner for our first piece I'm going to simply go outside the lines a bit I'm going to go click and drag across to about halfway I'm going to go down a bit I'm going to do a bit of a loop like you'd expect to see in a jigsaw puzzle Go down about the halfway point, straight across, straight back up the top and connect those lines. And that's just selected this corner of our puzzle. Okay, what I can do now is go to my modify menu and convert that piece to a symbol. And I'm going to call it piece1 underscore MC. So it's called piece1 and then the underscore MC just means it's a movie clip. Make sure your registration point is in the center of that little square and click OK. We've now got our first piece of the puzzle. I don't want you to move it just yet, so leave it in position. While it's still selected though, pop up to your properties box and give it an instance name. We'll call it the same name, piece1 underscore MC. That's our first piece of the puzzle. Okay, while that's in position there, I want you to note down the X and the Y values. So I can see I've got 194.35 as the X value of my first piece. So I'm going to go across to this document I've made up and next to piece 1 I'm going to write these coordinates in because I'm going to need these coordinates later on. Okay, so piece 1 is set at those coordinates. Now I can pick up piece 1 and just move it off to the side. Okay, and that does look like a jigsaw piece. Piece 2 is up here in the top left hand corner so I'm going to do the same thing as before. Drag around it with my lasso tool around this way. Now I'm going to cut in. I might do a bit of a loop down there. Cut across and back up the top. And that's selected my next piece. I'm going to go up to modify and convert that to a symbol. This time I'll call it piece 2 underscore MC. It'll be a movie clip. Registration point stays in the middle. We click OK. We pop the top next and give it an instance name so we'll call it piece 2 underscore MC and we'll note down the X and Y values. So the X value for piece 2 is 449.2 and the Y value 194.55. We can now grab our black arrow and move piece 2 off the page. We're left with two sections now down the bottom to sort out. So using the lasso tool, I'm just going to do piece 3 now. I'll do the same again, convert it to a symbol, piece 3, underscore MC, same settings as before. We'll give it an instance name called piece 3, underscore MC. And we'll note down the X and Y coordinates again. So piece 3 is at 169.05 and 378.3. Okay, grab your black arrow, move it to the side. 
And we're left with one piece, and all you have to do here is just click on it once with your black arrow, and that selects that entire piece. We'll convert it to a symbol. Give it the name piece4 underscore mc. Same for the instance name. And take down its x and y values. x and y values. Alright, we can move that piece around as well. So that is how we cut up our jigsaw puzzle. We're pretty much finished with that layer for now. So I'm going to lock that layer into place. The next thing we're going to do is put a little bit of code into our animation and make us drag and drop these um, pieces of the jigsaw around the stage. So I'm going to make a new layer here called Actions. And on Actions, I need to go to my Window menu and get my Action Script box up. So here it is at the top. Now the first piece of code you need to put in, I'm going to copy and paste it from my Word document. So here it is here. You're going to have to copy this exactly. Okay, so it's Stage dot Add Event Listener. We open up some brackets. We write Event dot Enter Frame. It's an underscore between them comma, end frame, close the brackets, and a semicolon at the end. After that we call on a function called end frame. In brackets we've got E colon event, close brackets, colon void, <laughs> and then we open up two parentheses here. You do not need to understand what this means. Okay, this is fairly complex code that you'll worry about in senior school if you do IPT. But for now, don't worry about what it means. As long as you copy that exactly, putting capital letters where I put capital letters, and only putting spaces where I put spaces, everything should be fine. From here now, I'm going to grab my black arrow, and I'm going to click just in this space here. I'll press enter a few times. We want to put our next line of code through there. So let's click on the first piece in our... Um, puzzle. We're going to need to unlock the layer to do so, so I'll click on that first piece. And I want you to get your Code Snippets panel up. So go to your window, and I want you to find Code Snippets. I'm going to put a bit of action script in, so a bit of code to make this jigsaw puzzle work. And we're going to let Flash do a lot of the writing for us. So in our Code Snippets panel, you want to open up the first folder called Actions. Inside Actions, you'll see the drag and drop function. So just double click on that. And that puts in some code. Okay, what we need to do is just move that code up inside these brackets. Okay. You've got some comments here in the grey that you can actually delete. We don't want that. We're going to put our own comments in. So do two forward slashes and write piece one. Okay, comments aren't actual pieces of code. It's just a little reminder telling us what the code does below it. So in piece number one, we've got here a piece of code to make it start being dragged around the stage and below it is a piece of code to make it stop being dragged around the stage okay so that's our first piece of code let's just press control enter and give that a test run we'll see if that's going to work we should be able to pick up this first piece now and drag it around okay when we let go of our mouse it stops being dragged we can't do it to the other pieces yet because we haven't put the code on them Okay, so let's do that now. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is just delete this bracket here. It's going to annoy me. I'm going to put that in right at the very end. Okay, so just remember we've taken a bracket out there. We're going to put it in at the end. Let's click on piece two now. Open up our code snippets panel. Put the same drag and drop feature on it. Just by double clicking on it. If we scroll down now, you can see we've got some code here. I'm just going to change those comments to piece two. So everything below piece 2 there is code to make the drag and drop feature work. Let's go to piece number 3 here, back to our code snippets panel, and we'll do the drag and drop function again. Again, I'll just rename the comment to piece 3 now. And you can see below there we've got the code to make our piece 3 work. Finally, we'll do piece 4. Okay, finally there, I'll just 
rename that to piece four. Just condense my code a little bit. Okay. Remember I did take out one of those curly brackets down the bottom here, so I'm going to put that back in now. It's just a closing curly bracket to say that's it for our code, it's all finished. We can press Control Enter now and test it again. And as you can see, we've got each of our pieces working. They're going to be a bit hard to snap into position, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in our second video. But for now, as long as you've got the drag and drop feature working, you can get your pieces lined up pretty close you know you've done the right thing for this tutorial. Okay, so I'll just close that now. We've got all our code working. I'm going to lock both those layers. There's one last thing. I'm going to put in a border around this picture. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my library for a minute. Here's my original picture. If I whoops, right click on this picture in my library here and just go to its properties, it will tell me its original size. 550 by 425. What I want to do is put a border around that that we can make our jigsaw inside of. So I'm going to make a new layer. Whoops. Just cut the video out there. So I'll say again, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to call it border. On this border layer, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. From my properties, I'll ensure that I've got, I'll just draw it on first. Okay, these aren't the colors I want for my um, border, so I'm going to just click on the border layer and select it all. And I'm actually going to delete that fill color. All I want is that border color there. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to change the stroke size to size 20, so it's a nice thick border. Oops, I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do is highlight all this, and I'm going to change the size of it. Okay, so the width, I want it to be the same size as my original picture. So if we remember, just going back here for a sec, it was 550 by 425 pixels. So let's make ours 550 by 425 pixels. And now we've got a border that we can fit our jigsaw inside of. What I'm going to do to center that in the page is go to my align panel. You can get that from your window menu as well. And I'm going to make sure I've got Align to Stage checked. I'm just going to press the middle button here that horizontally aligns that border and then vertically aligns my border on the page. Okay, so our jigsaw will be made inside of that border. I'm going to lock that layer into place now. Just press Control Enter to test it. I should be able to make this inside of here. That fits pretty nicely. Okay, that's what we're going to do for this video. In the next video, we're going to see how we can take these pieces and snap them into position so they fall into the exact place we want them to. Okay, so I'll close that for now. Just save your work as jigsaw number one. So I'll just go save as and call that jigsaw one. And we're saved up.